Hi Reaper friends, Reaper7 is out and let me tell you, the old method of splitting bands in Reaper is dead. Uh, let me show you how the old method was. If you ever wanted to divide this track into like three channels of the low end, the mid and the highs, you had to load the band splitter, this effects right here, then set the track channels to sits and then do all this routing and then create three tracks and do the sand for each of these and making sure that each band aligned with the number that it said right there and you would do the crossfades and crossovers in here uh, while that method was great and it worked fine so if I solo this it's just the low end and in here just the mids and the highs you get it there's a new method now that I very much prefer and I wanted to share it with you. So this method is basically doing the same thing, but with a whole interface that works so well. And with the new features of Reaper 7, which is um, parallel processing and containers. So let me show you how that works. So yeah, I got my tracking here with all the bands on touch. It's such a cool tune. Right now we're gonna load this script uh, that is very very awesome called paranormal paranormal effects router you can get this via repack i made an article on how to get it and the how it works but basically it's a way to it's an effects browser on store steroids basically you can see your whole effects chain and apply effects in here one thing i love this for is doing what i told you about the splitting bands uh, because it's so easy, look. All you need to do is just select the track and insert a new FETS and there's this utility section in here. You'll choose the three band splitter FETS that's gonna load in there and then afterwards you will load the band select FETS. And we're gonna do this three times and you see how easy this is. You just click and drag while holding control or command on the Mac. And this is doing the processing in parallel. Um, and it's just very easy to understand. This interface is so intuitive. I very much love it. And in each of these, you just have to select which band it is. So this one is low, and this one is mid, and this one should be high. Okay, so now that we have the three bands in here, we can turn each of them into a container. So for this we just right click and close into a container and do the same thing for the others. And, and I could have just duplicated the container, but yeah, this works as well. So yeah, now you should be able to use the key modifiers to eat, to listen to each container. You can even rename this. So to make this easier, I'm gonna rename this container low end. Highs. So now you should be able to use the modifiers to listen to each band. So I'm gonna hold shift and select here. So that's the low band. Mids. And the highs. And you can now use all of the amazing functionality of... Um, yeah, you get a volume control for each container. So you can basically just mix how, uh, how much of each band uh, you want, so that's very convenient. Uh, but the most convenient thing of all is that you can basically save all of this into an effects chain and load it to any track in the future. So right now we have a pretty much a blank state of pro of three band processing, and if you want to adjust the crossover, you can do so in here. So to save this, you will right click the effects chain and save as a chain. And it's gonna ask me where or what name. I'm just gonna say three band split. So right there, save. So now I should be able to, um, in any other track, um, select the FETS chain that I want. Um, in here, um, FETS chains, three band split. And it's gonna open all of these, um, like, and it's ready to be process that way. So now let's say that we want to add a limiter in the low end. All we need to do is just insert right here in the low end container and just so easy to see each band like that. 
And I'm gonna actually solo the low band and just process this very heavily. Like that. So yeah, that's a... Um, and let's say that we wanna now add saturation to the mid. Uh, yeah, could be this one. So now the mid bands are saturated. And let's say we want another type of saturation for the highs. Yeah, something like that. Um, it's whatever for now. So now let's listen to all together. So maybe too much low end, we could just lower this. Down. And maybe we want less mid. Yeah, this is just so convenient to have all of these in here. And if we want to continue processing as a whole uh, signal, you can continue processing in here. So for example, I can add uh, an EQ after all of this, and it's going to affect the whole chain. So maybe it's too much. Like that. So yeah, this is affecting the whole chain now. But you get it. This is such a phenomenal um, interface. I really, really like it. It's, it makes what would be this a very confusing thing. Like, looking at this, like, this is what you would normally see if you didn't have the interface. This is very confusing. Like, I wouldn't understand what's going on in here too well. But if I had the paranormal um, script, it makes everything so much clearer. It's like what's going on in the FETS processing. Um, and all the menus and user settings that you have, you can totally just configure this however you want it. You can even change the colors and all of this. There's so much configuration and also you can dock it anywhere in your Reaper. So maybe I want to um, just dock it here. And now I can have this always visible to whatever track I have selected. So for example, if I'm on another project, I can select this and I can see the whole chain at all times in there. And I can begin parallel processing or just keep going serial. And it's just a nice thing to have. Um, you can right click and hold to move this thing around if, if the chain gets too crazy. For example, like this one, if it gets like very insane, you can move it around. And you can always reset the view by clicking this home button. And you can also lock it, which is something I like, to lock to selected track. So even if I'm selecting other tracks, it's going to always be visible. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. There's so many things in here that I love. And I've been using it all day today. Uh, and I find it that it's just so nice to use for this kind of at least advanced processing. But yeah, if you find yourself using this a lot, I recommend putting it in your toolbar so you can enable it whenever you need it uh, pretty quickly. And it's just a way to make all these complicated things to be very simple to see and use at least. Uh, because otherwise this will be a bunch of tracks and that also works. And I like that a lot, but this is just much better. But if you prefer the old way, that's also fine. If you find yourself that the tracks are easier for you to work with, that's also fine. This is just another way. Um, so yeah, hope that was useful and let me know if you have any questions. Bye bye.